Hey folks, JD here, and today we have this. This is the Holy Stone HS220, the Southern Cross. Right then, let's open this up. Now, I'm very excited to have this. As you know, I am a big Holy Stone fan, and over the years we've looked at a load of Holy Stone quadcopters, as well as unboxings and a load of other things to do with them. If you want to see more, then you'll find my Holy Stone playlist in the description of this particular video. Right then, come on, let's open this up. Ah, absolute nightmare. Right, okay. So what I like about this is you've got really nice packaging to begin with. So you have this really nice, really annoying, really difficult to open uh, package. Oh. Excuse the hands, folks. There we go. That's got that one. You have this really nice sheath that goes around the in the outside of this box. And then you have the box itself. So you have a quadcopter on the side. You have the Southern Cross with a couple of features going off down the bottom here. And once again, you have the same picture on the other side as well. Now then, you open this up. And then once you open it, you should be faced with the quadcopter sat inside. Oh, thank you, Holy Stone. I love these books and I use them all the time. So inside these, this little package, you have yourself a nice little Holy Stone notepad. I like that. We'll come back to that in a bit. Okay. There's the quadcopter. Let's take her out. Let's see what we have. So this quadcopter is a dual mode quadcopter. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Very clean, very clear. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, let's see what we have. So let's start off. Do we have a front to this? We should have a camera, yes. Very difficult to actually see. Now, let's start off at the top. First thing I wanna to come to is this here. This is a touch sensor, so, as you turn it on, you just literally touch it and it turns itself on and then touch it again to turn itself off. Now, this quadcopter, you might be thinking, because it is a mini whoop, you might be thinking, well, it's a bit larger than a mini whoop, mini whoop, but it has that mini whoop style. You might be thinking, what is dual mode about it? Well, this is mode one, and then mode two is that you pull the propellers out so then you are faced with that. So you can fly in both modes. You can fly with the propellers down or you can fly with them out. But either way, they have to be clicked into position. So that is really nice. I've not come across a transforming quadcopter quite like this. Some of them have claimed to be good, um, and some of them have claimed to be transforming quads, but at the same point, they haven't really flown very well. So I'm intrigued to find out how well this does. Let's flip it over and let's have a little look. So at the bottom, we have our battery by the look of it. Yep. So if I just plug the battery in, then maybe we can see this touch sensor. So if I just touch it, it just comes on as easy as that there we go so you've got your blue leds there and if you just touch it it should go off and there's literally no pressure i'm putting with that i'm just sliding my finger over the top very very gentle indeed all right i like this this looks very very nice let's have a quick little look at those motors now these are brushed motors as we've seen with so many other quadcopters, they just sat in the bottom there. You've got some quite nice aeration holes around the outside, just in turn to ensure that these motors cool down quite nicely. And you've also got these very rubbery landing sprigs on the top as well. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? That's hopefully should do quite a nice little job. They certainly seem to be on there quite well. So I'm hoping that when it actually comes down, if you're on concrete, it's actually, yeah, you can feel there's a bit of resistance there. Not a lot, but this is a, a shiny table. I imagine on concrete there's going to be a bit more resistance there. Okay, as we make our way in, these are where the LEDs are. These are the four panels here. So as I turn this on, this is going to be bright, folks. So as I turn that on, you can see there we have two white LEDs and two blue LEDs. Let's turn that off. Then we have the battery sat in the middle. The battery just pulls out and plugs straight back in. So this particular battery will give you 15 minutes of flight up to, uh, and it charges within 150 minutes it's a 3.7 volt 750 milliamp hour battery so that well as i say should give you up to 15 minutes of flight now this quad is very very light indeed so once the battery is in as well its full flying weight is under 100 grams so that in itself is pretty pretty good now as for the camera you can see the camera pointed right there it's a fixed lens 720 720p camera so that should give you quite nice little videos and photos. It's not going to be the best quality. We'll have to see what the lens is actually like when we take her out. But Holy Stone's cameras are generally quite passable. So I'm hoping this again is going to be passable. And then as I say, as this is a folding quad, you can fly it 
in two modes. That's the appeal with this. That's what I really like. That's a very clean look. I quite like the look of that. I really do. Right then, let's put this down. Let's see exactly what else we have inside this box. So let's go back to here. Get some circa. Fantastic. Don't eat that, folks. And then if we move this open like that. And then we've got some more silica in here. So let's move that out of the way. And we've got a couple of boxes in the bottom there. So let's pull box number one out, which I'm guessing are accessories, but we'll come back to that. This is what we're after for the for the beginning, is we are after this transmitter. So let's open it up and be careful when you take it out, as I clearly wasn't there. This is a little bit fiddly. Okay, if I pull this out a little bit, and then I can just slide that out, hopefully. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Inside there as well, you also get your manual. So you have your manual inside there, instructions for use, as well as you have your key bindings are there as well. So this is your transmitter. That's very clean, isn't it? Very Again, the style is fantastic. Nice white and black, very clean, very fresh looking. The middle here, that's where you put your smartphone. So your smartphone clips in there for your video relay. The max meterage you're going to have your, for your video relay is 50 meters. As for control distance, it's 60 meters. So you have your standard analog sticks. They're quite nice. There's no buttons on those. It flicks back into the center just to let you know this quadcopter does have altitude hold. So it is going to hold itself at a particular altitude. You have auto takeoff and landing. You have trim here. You have your on and off button. Quite nice to have it offset slightly. You have headless mode as well as record photo and video. Now it does say here video, you've got to press and hold for two seconds. And then you have headless mode at the bottom here. So, oh yeah, on the top as well, you also have on the left hand, uh, um, left hand shoulder button, you have your speed. So you have four speeds for this. So Holy Stone are known for having more than just the standard three speeds. With the Bolt B, we, have, we know we have five. With this, we have four. And then likewise, we have a 360 flip button this side as well. Around the back, oh, look at that. This is actually controlled by the same battery that is inside that quadcopter. So this is, again, a, uh, a 3.7 volt, 700, 750 milliamp hour battery. There we are. Single one up and one down to bind when you want to do it. This, once again, as it's the same battery, will take 150 minutes to charge, but it should give you a little bit more use than the 15 minutes you have of this particular quad here. But it is quite nice that it is the same battery. I like that. That's thinking outside the box rather than just using the standard triple or double A's. Let's put that to one side. So all in all, yes, I like that. It's very, it seems very basic. It does feel as if it is quite nicely put together. The buttons are most certainly uh, definite pushers, what I call. And what that means is that once you have pushed the button, it responds with a very hefty click to let you know you most certainly have pressed it. You haven't got to think, or oh, have I changed speed, because you get some quite nice tactile feedback back. Right, that's nice. So that's the transmitter. Anything else inside here? Nothing at all. So let's have a quick little look inside this manual and see what we have in here. Let's open this. It looks like there are many manuals in here. Oh, a quick start guide, and we have instructions. Now, the instructions for use detail quite a few different things. They also go through um, the quadcopters, uh, clockwise and counterclockwise motors, how to use all of the functions on the transmitter, as well as how to bind, transmitter battery, drone battery, how everything works, the flight pattern, Calibrating the gyro. Oh, sorry, that's a bit of an omission. According to this, the calibration of the gyro is the bottom bottom right button there, not headless mode. So that's my fault. And then from there, it takes you through how to do 360 flips, how to properly use this particular quadcopter, as well as here are your QR codes for iOS and Android. And then it's how to take photos and videos, specifications of the quadcopter as well as well as troubleshooting inside this grid here. So that takes you through quite a lot of different options there, as well as you do have the quick start guide, which looks like, is it all in one language? No, it is in English as well. English and Chinese, it looks like. And that takes you through how to get started very quickly if you're not new to quadcopters and if you've flown them before, but if you are new to this particular quadcopter. So let's just pop that back in there. And likewise, with uh, every, well, let's say with every, with the two Holy Stone drones that I've opened before, with the Boat B and with this one, even though I have opened more, 
these have been the only two that I've had this particular booklet with. Let's just go through quickly what we have here. So inside here we have notepad, pen and some sticky notes it should be. So you can see the pen there. Yeah, there we go. Notepad, pen, sticky notes. Perfect. Thank you, Holy Stone. I like that a lot. Perfect. There we are, my friends. Well, that was the unboxing. Now, let's look at the flight. All right, then. Let's plug all these batteries in there and see how she goes. So, let's move that out of the way, put it back. So you've got two course headings on this particular quadcopter. If you have a folded quad, then this is your course heading. At the start here, this is your front. If, when you open her out, this is your front. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to get a bound. So turn on the transmitter, turn on the quad, and because it's a very light day, I can't see if she's flashing or she's not. So bear with me a second. Don't think she is yet. Yeah, now she is. I can see some white LEDs underneath her. Single one up and one down to bind. All LEDs are now solid. So what I'm going to do for the second, because the camera is covered, I'm not going to worry too much about... Um, I'm not going to concern myself too much about making sure that she's all, that the camera's open. I'm just going to fly her closed for the second. I just want to see where the calibration is for, okay, we've got calibration at the bottom, isn't it, if I remember actually. Yes, that's your calibration, your gyro calibration at the bottom. Sorry, I'm so used to looking at the bottom for other things. Right, okay, so because it's folded, we're going to click this button here because that is the the, uh, the button you push when the quadcopter is folded. So with that now, we should be able to take off. Now, we have got quite a strong wind here today, so I am going to have to be careful, but still, it's also nice that when you click that button down to show that you're flying it folded, the course direction is that blue LED at the front. See, comes together really quite nice. Speed mode two. <laughs> Speed mode three. Nice. That's a nice angle of attack on her as well. And she doesn't dip down to the floor too much either. That's nice. And then, speed mode four, which is crazy, crazy speed. Not as fast as a bull bee, but still, this is quite quick. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done, Holy Stone, yet again. Okay, bring her back to speed mode one. Now, what I'm gonna do for the second, let's do a couple of 3D flips in closed mode, if I can. No, I can't. Okay, let's bring her down. Oh, she's fighting against that breeze. Increase the speed mode too. Right there, let's bring her down for the second. Start her off in speed mode four. Untick this box here. Open up the quadcopter. The course heading automatically changes to being at the front next to this camera. So what I'm gonna do now is Let's attach to the Wi-Fi. Should be, again, the only broadcasted network which is out here. Should be. But then stranger things have happened. And... Come on. Have I got to turn it off and turn it back on again? Perhaps, maybe, if it's closed, Wi-Fi doesn't broadcast. Oh, no, I have turned it off. God, that's stupid of me. Right. Let's rebind up a water. A single open and close throttle to bind. I got to be careful because this is a touch, a touch part of the uh, a touch pad on and off. That it makes it quite tricky for picking up. That's one negative. Okay, now then she's locked in. She's on there now. Let's open up the app, which is called. Come on, H S Cross, Holy Stone Cross. Now it should. Okay, let's turn around that there. Okay, so now we should click start. There we go, and we've got some video on the go. So let's get some screen recording. R recording. <laughs> and then, have we got an app draw at the top? No, trimmer mode, switch mode, track mode, camera reversal, VR split screen, gravity control, headless mode, and calibration. So let's click calibration. Let her calibrate. And then, 
all the, oh, that's really annoying. All of the symbols at the top are all white. So if you've got a white background, like I currently have, it is proven to be quite difficult. Okay, course trajectory is now altered. She's flying now like a, a proper quadcopter. Once again, the blue LEDs, into speed mode two, the blue LEDs denote the front of the quad. Already had some Wi-Fi breakup, but to be fair, we don't expect anything else. Or at least I don't, anyway, from uh, some of these Wi-Fi quads. Expect there to be um, a little bit of breakup now and again. It's not as bad as some. Into speed mode three. Oh, do you know what? I'm loving these these speed modes that are just... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was a bit strange. She was a bit slow then to turn around. Uh, as I was saying, I love in these speed modes that are just a little, that are just so different to everybody else. While everybody else is doing one, two, and three speed modes, Holy Stone comes up with five speed modes for the boat, be on a rocker switch, and uh, four speed modes for the HS220. Beautiful. It's quite tight as well. It feels good when it's flying. Yeah, that does feel good there. Very, very nice response from it. I mean, you can fly this on the app as well, should you choose to. I'm not going to today purely because it is quite a, a windy day and I don't want, I want to ensure if I have to course correct her quickly and bring her back to me, that I then have enough control to do that. So 3D flips, forward directional 3D flip, back directional, left, and right, and they're tight as well, look at that. Shout out to Mr. Gauss. He knows what I'm talking about there. As he, as he commented on one of my other videos when I said something quite similar. And then once again, let's try again. So click forward. She's a fast, fast flipper. And then once again to the right. She is fast. The right one is always a little bit strange on a lot of quads, but it makes it look so easy on this particular quadcopter. And she'll flip when she goes straight forward as well. <laughs> Little agile thing this is. Oh, I like. I like. Video's broken up a loads, folks. Absolutely loads. Um, but you'll see that in the, uh, in the screen recording I've made. And then back into speed mode one. Oh. That is the battery, LEDs are flashing, we're in LVC. There we go, yeah, L LEDs are going. So, the video looks quite washed out, looks quite greeny, very noisy. Into speed mode two. Do you know what, that is, I'm gonna bring it down, that is a hell of a lot of fun to fly, that is. That really is a hell of a lot of fun to fly. Can't fault that. That is a hell of a lot of fun to fly. <laughs> now, I did forget to take a couple of photos, so let's do it now. So let's just hold her out here. Let's get a couple of photos for the album. You know, why not? Let's see how she does in high light. Let's see how she does in light behind. Let's see how she does. Let's get a couple and let's see exactly how well she puts up with all this light. There we go. So I'm gonna turn this off, perfect. There we go. Collapse that down. Turn off the quadcopter, just by running your finger over the back of the quad. And that's it. Oh, I turned her on again. That's the annoying feature. It's a cool feature to have. Thank you, Holy Stone, for, you know, putting in something which is a touch sensor. But at the same time, a touch sensor can be very annoying. This quadcopter battery is warm to the touch. Transmit a battery is cold to the touch. They're both the same batteries as well, so you can interchange them. So you haven't got to concern yourself about which one's the transmitter and which one is the quadcopter. That's good. I quite like that. The transmitter feels very thin plastic, but to be fair, now I've flown with it, but to be fair, it did its job. And its job was to control this particular quadcopter. So all in all, I'm happy with that. It did exactly what it said in the tin and the FPV boom held my phone and my phone didn't move. It didn't feel as if it was going to fall out. And as I was moving my hands with the transmitter, I didn't feel as if the phone was going to was going to negatively impact the particular uh the weight of this quadcopter like the weight of the 
uh, of the transmitter. So what I'm trying to say is, if I move my hands back, I didn't feel as if the phone was going to come slamming down, which would make the make the, the transmitter move in an awkward direction. So I quite like that. That does the job. This, though, on the other hand, is excellent. Folded up, you have more of a, a 65 millimeter quad style and feel to it. Open her out, but then and then when you open her out, you get the full animal. Four speed modes. She is quick. She does dip down to the floor. She was a bit slow in speed mode three when I when I opened her out. About here, if I remember, I had to quite literally let go of the analog sticks, leave her sort herself out, and then carry on. Now that could be anything. That could be because while I'm flying bad atmospherics today it could be because maybe i had moved around the analog sticks too much and confused the quadcopter i don't know but it didn't feel unstable it didn't feel as if i had to bring her down quickly i just had to let her get her everything out of her system and then i had full control and once again didn't have any issue for the rest of the, of the video now i'm going to try this again and see exactly if we get that same sort of issue but to begin with i think it's really good i really do um now we have a solid quadcopter folded up and opened out four speed modes very quick nice control with her apart from this little bit over here uh camera looks terrible though <laughs> it really does i'm not expecting much out of that at all the app is very difficult to see the uh icons at the top if you're flying like this with today what the camera saw is instead of seeing in this nice blue screen it just saw white so i couldn't see any of the white icons at the top uh that being said though the brush motors held up well and they're cold as you'd expect because of all this this wind acting against them just cooling them down all in all i think that's good but more testing is needed i think so i'm going to revisit this very shortly and see exactly if my uh if my thoughts hold up for a second flight but in all fairness i think they will this is a nice little quad i like it all right then my friends thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy flying.